we talk about artificial intelligence, I guess right now I view it as a little bit more as artificial augmentation of our intelligence. This isn't meant to be a replacement technology. It's meant to be assistive technology. This has the ability to really, really dramatically improve the level of surgical care that we can give our patients. It's honestly not used a huge amount in medicine. Mm -hmm. If I look at my day-to-day -day work, there isn't a huge amount of AI integrated into routine clinical care. Not to the way that AI could potentially be integrated in helping us make decisions, doing rapid natural language processing, summarization of patient notes and stuff like that. So I think there's a lot of room of, for opportunity. AI may be called to predict uh, the next uh, 15 to 30 seconds of an operation at the moment, um, which is really sort of the critical time frame in which a surgeon makes their surgeons make their decisions. There are predictive softwares uh, around cancer that can look at the patient's information, look at the patient's genetics, and tell you, I think they need surgery first, or I think they need neoadjuvant chemotherapy first or how to proceed most optimally based on the specific information of that patient. In minimally invasive surgery in the operating room, the surgeon gains information from uh, the intra-abdominal video footage. If we can leverage AI to integrate other image modalities or provide additional supervision, that ultimately will lead to a more informed surgeon that can make more informed decisions and um, has the potential to reduce the overall operative surgical risk for the patient. Utilizing AI and uh, visual imaging, we're able to tell what phase of the operation um, the, that the operation is currently in. So for example, you can imagine AI detecting, okay, this is how much estimated time is left in the surgery. And then you talk about OR uh, room utilization, block utilization, making sure an ICU bed or a floor bed is available for that patient. Those kind of systems can be built in to automatically detect how far along the operation is. It speaks to hospital efficiency, triaging, freeing up people who are experts in something who may spend a lot of time in the logistics and manual component of things where they can get things triaged for them. They can have a fail safe for when they're reading things and it'll just make the process much, much quicker and more efficient. There was a great study where they had board certified radiologists reading through, you know, hundreds of chest x-rays. And on average, it took them about four hours to read through this stack of chest x-rays. They then developed an AI algorithm that had similar accuracy in what it, the different conditions it was detecting, but it was able to do it in a minute and a half. Rather than us moving from our chart into a different database, it can be brought right into our clinical workflow right there. So rather than focus on what we need to do next and all the homework we need to do, we'll be able to engage in a personal relationship with that patient and show them that same computer screen that shows risks and benefits and alternatives and help guide them through the decision-making for proceeding with surgery or not, or what surgery to decide on.